How we doing people? This is Christy Everton Chris. I'm here at Essex Rebel Arena at the trophy stages of the WBBL. I'm here with a very special player, sweet shooter with a sweet jump shot and a sweet game. I'm going to call her sweet, if I can say her name right, sweet Charlene Sanchez. Sweet Shay Sanchez. How you doing girl? I'm doing pretty good. A little, a little fatigued but feeling really good. Fatigued? I would not believe you're fatigued, man. You look like you can go another 10, 10, 10 minutes. Um, honestly, if there was another 10 minutes, I think people would have been carrying me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, right? Oh, right. So talk to us about um, this game you just played against Cola. How was it? And you know, how was it playing against a Division One team? And what do you take from this game today? Um, definitely just want to take the momentum. I mean, Cola is a Division One team, but. They're scrappy, they're young, they're energetic, they work really hard, so, you know, we couldn't go into this game just thinking that they were gonna give us the win. They challenged us, which is what we need going into Essex um, at home this coming week. Oh, definitely, and then talk to us about, you know, your impact in the game. Let's look at your stats, you know, you came out firing 22 points, you had four assists, four steals, and six rebounds. Like, talk to us about your performance, and you know, what was, what was the motivation behind this performance today? Um, you know, coming off an injury, I missed two games before Christmas. Um, and then coming into the new year, I really wanted to do as much as I can on the offensive and defensive end to positively impact this team and give my team energy. We have so many talented players, you know, and Leah McDermott, Sam Keltos, Claire Abbott when she comes back. And it's just about doing what I can to help my team win. And a lot of that, you know, confidence, that energy, it comes from the bench. It comes from my teammates instilling that confidence in me. And I'm really grateful to have really amazing teammates. And talk about your teammates. You've got two that's still coming back from injury. How have you managed to stay afloat so far with these injuries? I know, you know, the game winning ain't reflected that, but you know, you're still trying your best. How have you not managed to stay focused and stay on the course? You know, it's definitely been hard to miss two really key players in our rotation, but tough moments make tough players. So we're really trying to embrace the grind. We're trying to you know, embrace the grind of our injured players and doing what we can to help give them, you know, hope physically and mentally, and that's just so important. But like I said, tough moments, tough players, and that's what we're trying to be, trying to be tough in this league. So what's the plan going into the next round, or the next game going against Essex? They just came up a big win against Seven O's. Hopefully your players should be back by then or should be on the men. Like, what's the plan going into this game? Because they're tough, but they do have their flaws at times. What's the, what do you reckon the game plan would be? Um, not 100% sure what the game plan is quite yet. You know, we take it one game at a time, but we definitely respect Essex and how well they function and how well they're coached. Um, it's definitely going to be a little bit of a different approach. Take what we can learn from this game, see where we made mistakes, see where we were really good, and then just take all that, learn from it, bring it into practice, give a lot of energy, give a lot of effort go into Essex with a little bit of momentum and a little bit of confidence. And talk to us about, you mentioned Leah McDermott. She brings a lot of championship experience from her previous team. Um, talk to us how she's helped you develop. Um, Leah's definitely been, you know, just a great teammate to have in terms of her skill level and her how positive she is, her mindset. Um, and, you know, guarding Leah in practice, it's not an easy feat. She's an amazing, talented player. I um, mean, her leadership is everything to us. She's so well respected. You know, anything she says to us, it's taken with, you know, a lot, a lot of um, respect. Uh, so it's really great to have Leah. No, definitely, definitely. And, you know, last but not least, um, how, do you, how are you feeling within yourself and going into the next round now of the trophy stages? Um, you know, it's, I'm really excited. Obviously, this is my first uh, year in the league, so I've never been part of the trophy first experience. So it's just a lot of excitement. You know, hopefully we can secure that second round but you know Sheffield's a great great team great team so it'll be a battle but you know we're ready for it we're tough players we want to try and scrap you know as much as we can and try and get that win if we can definitely definitely um Shay thank you for coming on wish you luck rest of the season and going forward and this is by far the true player of this game the true player of the game now, I don't know why they <laughs> voted that other player she didn't score nothing, she didn't do anything, but you were the one that made the win. So you are the true player of the game and the real MVP.
So we should up for the rest of the season and then going into the next game. Hopefully we'll see you around. Oh, hopefully. I, I, I'm, I live in Manchester now, so you know, you might see more of me. You never know. Awesome. Have a good one. You too. All right, that's Christian Everton. Chris, we're out. Always balling, as you know, with the precious t-shirts. Peace. <laughs> everything, everything, Chris.